Welcome to my channel, baby. Sip sensibility. Welcome to my channel, baby. Sip sensibility. Hey, this is Sensibility Speaks. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all, let's talk about this Love and Marriage Huntsville new suspense trailer. Honey is giving suspense thriller, so it's giving us a case of Clue, a case of Law and Order. It's giving a little bit of Thruple Gone Wrong, i.e. Love Triangle. A case of Am I My Brother's Keeper? Am I Gonna Hold Him Accountable? And a little bit of Fake Concern, okay? And a little bit of Wash and Repeat. Let's get into it, shall we? So it opens up with Maurice saying that 2024 is coming in with a blast and a bang. And it immediately cuts over to Stormy and Courtney looking at their iPhone saying, you ain't seen this. So essentially saying that Martel Holt has been arrested for domestic violence, honey, with the whole mugshot with that simple smug ass look on his old Martiana busted down face, okay? I tell you what, it's giving. So you ever heard of the saying, life imitating art? Well, in this case, I feel like this particular season of Love and Marriage Huntsville is giving art imitating life because all of us know what goes down behind the scenes on social media, honey, is sometimes better than the show itself, but not necessarily in a good way with all of the dark drama, okay? And for those of us who follow the show, we know about the dark drama. Okay, so they're cutting over like domestic violence in the third degree. And then you got Marcel talking to Tisha saying, it doesn't look good as domestic violence. And she's saying, but it's for communication, harassing communication. Leave it to Letitia to downplay anything that can impact Melody, especially when it comes to Martel with all the dastardly and evil ish that he does to her. And leave it to Letitia to continuously downplay it in favor of Martel and try to minimize what's going on. But let's continue and the gag is, we know that Stormy for sure didn't care for Melody, but even though she said to Courtney, suppose he meant to do her harm, okay? And Tisha, who was once friends, allegedly, supposedly, let her tell it with Melody. You have no empathy or sympathy for her still, child. You can't make this shit up. So I do agree with Maurice as he tells Kimmy, your children's gonna have to see this stuff and the internet never goes away. I think he may have been sincere in that moment, okay? Because he's a parent. So that I'll give him just for that. Okay, then it cuts over to Martell talking to Mama Marlene. Oh, well, Melody has me arrested for some text messages I sent her over a year ago. But what type of text messages were they, bonehead? Okay, but what I wanna know is, will production air what type of text messages they were? We don't expect him to come clean and talk about revenge P and all of the ish that you tried to do, child threatened to expose intimate moments in attempts to control her. And then it cuts over to Melody talking to her brother Marcus saying that he literally was going to take a video of he and I and have it released. Cause remember Coleslaw, the bird brain, honey, his silly ride or die chick that he puts up on a shelf and takes her down to do his bidding and dirty work when he sees fit to, okay? Remember she was gonna put it out. But see, I wanna know if production is going to get that graphic. Okay, you're going to tell it, tell it all, tell it all. So anyway, it cuts over to Kimmy saying that bigger restraints or more measures need to be taken place in order to hold people accountable. Then it cuts over to Maurice and Marceau confronting Martel, asking him, why would you go to the bloggers, meaning Tasha K? Because as we know earlier this year, he set his black ass down with Tasha K and tried to drag Melody for Phil and tried to paint himself as the victim. Child, ain't nobody buying that ish he's selling. But anyway, so the guys are looking all perplexed and stunned like, now, so here's my opinion. A couple things may be happening here. Carlos has heard all the complaints of all of us millimeters and all of the viewers and all of this as far as how he treats the women on the show and let the men get away with shit. Okay, and don't hold them accountable for anything. Is this a feeble attempt of him trying to hold Martel accountable by having the men holding him accountable, or at least the appearance and the illusion of that? And he's saying, well, I went to the bloggers because she went low and I went to hell, so to speak. Honey, your ass is in hell. The problem is you're trying to pull Melody down in hell with you, brother. 
as she's risen and soaring above, you're trying to pull her down like a damn crab in a bucket, Martell, with your envious, jealous ass. But anywho, but I'm just curious, is this Carlos in production playing in our face? Again, trying to give the illusion like they're trying to hold Martell accountable. You know what I see this season? I see the Bama getting a whole lot of camera time. A whole lot of camera time because he didn't get that much last season. But he sure goddamn getting a whole lot. And I'm going to circle back to that in a second. Let's continue. So anyway, the Scott brothers, Maurice and Marceau, they're arguing with Martell. And he's like, well, she tried to get me arrested. She called DHR on me, blah, 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 blah. And he's yelling at them, telling them, y'all never experienced this. Now, you know how editing kind of splices things and we don't know the order of events. And I'm sure there are other parts of the conversation that are left out that they're responding to, right? And so, because they said, we've experienced that too. And Marceau says, but I remain married or chose to stay married. So I don't think they're responding to him saying that he's arrested for necessarily the domestic violence or, or whatever like that. I'm just wondering what parts of the conversation are missing here, okay? Because they're pleading a bit hard with his ass. Y'all remember that season where they all were playing baseball? And this is when Tiffany and Big Lou were still there. And I think Destiny was on the show at that time. And I think the women had went off, the men had went off, and then Martel was like jabbing and picking at Melody or whatever. And I think, was it Maurice and was it Big Lou? They was like, man, just chill out. They just kind of pulled him to the side. Like, you're not going to win an argument with the woman. But he's just grinning and skinning. And at that time, he was trying to get up under Melody's skin. He kept fucking with her, kept jabbing at her. And they was just like, man, that just don't look good going back and forth with women like that. But when you're a little Mitch yourself, you enjoy arguing with women because you too have feminine qualities. I'm just saying, but let's continue. And so remember I said, it looks like Martel getting a whole lot of storyline. He got a whole lot going on because now it says it's a new tell-all season. Now it cuts over to the Fletchers, okay? So it's Martel and Chris Fletcher. They kind of, you know, playing with the football in their hand, blah, 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 blah. And Martel saying that. Nail said that once she found out you were married, that she was going to cut you off. So again, you know how editing does a lot of splicing and they kind of leave parts out. And so Chris Fletcher was like, no. No, that wasn't it. You trying to make it seem like y'all were still married and y'all were hooking up talking about him and Miss Fletcher, Lernell Fletcher. So anyway, it cuts over to Melody and now, and she was like, yes, he was married, but did I know? No, or whatever like that. And then Melody says, well, do you think this is a trade of Chris's? And she's like, you're going to have to talk to him about that. Again, this is editing. You know how they be piecing shit together. So we don't know what all is being said. But anyway, let's continue. So here we go with the whole rinse, wash, and repeat bullshit, okay? And so you see Chris coming at Martell. He's like, you trying to make it seem like my wife was a side chick. She won't no damn side chick. So remember when his daughter Lexi came on social media and she ain't no huge fan of Chris or Miss Nailchild. It's a lot of bad blood between them. And we saw how last season went off. You know, that whole family has a lot going on, a lot of healing to do. But she made it seem like Miss Nell was a side chick, allegedly, in my opinion, okay? Child, honey, they gonna wear that damn side chick storyline out. First, they called him Kimmy a side chick, well, blah, 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 blah. Child, they drugged that to the white meat. Now, Miss Nell a side chick, okay? And so, anyway, so don't let me find out Miss Nell's supposed to be Letitia's mentor. I'm not for certain how, okay, it could be about marriage. She could be seeking guidance, okay, because... Secretly, she knows that Marcel probably been slipping and dipping and doing all type of ish. But for her marriage, Jazz, she got to protect her image. So maybe she's mentoring her on that front. So it seems like Tisha feels like Miss Nell is acting like she don't know her or downplaying their relationship or whatever, I guess, to the other cast members or whomever, right? I know Tisha ain't bucking up on Miss Nell, child, because Miss Nell look like she got them hands. She might whoop your ass, Tisha. Now I want to see if Wanda going to get up in that. Now we know they ain't going to fight for real. But I'm laughing. Melody in the background, child, she's just a dancer. She's like, this ain't got ish to do with me. She's like, I'm listening to the music, minding my black owned business. Okay? But anyway, moving right along. But one thing production's going to do is make sure they get a scene 
where Dr. Melody Cherie and that damn Marceau going back and forth. So apparently he must have posted hashtag free Martell lots of laughs. So of course Melody done found that funny, especially when the whole reason of him getting arrested is due to the domestic violence of the third degree having to do with the revenge pee that the Bama was allegedly plotting to put out. We have to say allegedly, right? Anywho. But she's like, hashtag free Tisha. I know that's right. I know if Tisha ever get that coin up, she gonna leave his ass. But anywho, he's just like, well, shit, you married him. That's your boy or whatever. You had three, four kids, ma'am. He know damn well she had four kids. I don't know why he said three. And she's like, shit, you remain in friends with him now. And you know how he is and is. Okay, child, that's why I say as they are trying to act all alarmed and perplexed, like, oh, my God, the domestic violence. And Martell, what did you do, child? They don't give a ish. Again, the only reason they're acting concerned, even if they do have a little bit of concern, is because they're trying to clean up their image or whatever, or Carlos is trying to make the scale seem a bit more balanced in terms of how the men and the women are treated, because we know when it comes to Melody, she has not gotten the best end of the stick, okay? Now, the cast may not be piling up on her as they were and trying to isolate her off the show, but still, it's a whole lot left to be desired. And they still do other slick shit, as we're going to learn on that girl's trip. But, you know, that's probably later. Child, that's probably going to be the damn part B of the season. We probably got to wait to Christmas of next year to see that shit or Christmas of this year. So anyway, they move over to the new couple. Then I said Martell's getting a whole lot of camera time. Why is he being rewarded with more camera time? Why? okay especially with all of the ish that he's done why is he getting more camera time we didn't even think the Bama was going to film let alone get triple the camera time carlos you got some explaining to do see now that's playing in melody's face now she might not be filming with him per se but he shouldn't be rewarded with the extra time i'm just saying and of course, here's another storyline for him. So allegedly, the new couple that's coming on, he went to high school with the lady. Of course he did. And she's supposed to be Stormy's friend. And Stormy was like, oh, y'all know each other? And I'm like, since when Martell been coming around Stormy house? Child, it's too much. And even Destiny said this, that Martell sleeps with all of his friends, so maybe they had a little thing going. And she said, hey, I might have came to his house a couple times. We grown. I ain't got nothing to explain, child. Anywho. But as a new couple, I hope the storyline ain't going to be about how in the hell she knows Martell. I want to learn a little bit more about them, who they are. And I thought they were married, but they're just boyfriend, girlfriend. But whatever their business endeavors or business ventures are, besides being Stormy's goddamn friend, we want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. As opposed to giving Martell yet more damn storyline, you know? Then they got a scene with Courtney talking to the new guy, the woman's boyfriend trying to figure out if martell and her has something going on well, then they had the bowling alley and martell's like oh hell no i don't remember her especially if ain't nothing happened and courtney telling him to mess with too many women child he need to go get some damn tests done so i'm just saying honey because it seemed to me he'd be dropping it low and spread it wide allegedly in, in my opinion you spread yourself a bit thin brother just make sure your tests clean i'm just saying i'm just saying Ooh, child. So as we know, Destiny is back on the show. Here we go, Martell with another goddamn storyline with Destiny. She's coming over to the house. It looks like he got a lady friend coming over. They got the romantic music, yada, yada, yada. And it's just Destiny ass. And they ha, 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 ha. I'm like, child, come on now. Mm -mm, it's too much. He got more storyline than everybody. Carlos, you got some explaining to do. You got a soft spot for that Negro, don't you? And honey, don't let me find out that Martell trying to plug his INS wine, pouring Destiny wine. He's trying to get caught up with her, like, what's going on? And she said, I'm just dating or whatever like that. And he pouring wine. He was like, ooh, let me get a little bit more so he could tell it all. So anywho, Miss Destiny, she likes to record everything, child joking. But anyway, well, hmm, word on the curb is she do. But she shows Martell a picture. She was like, in law so cute? Yeah. And he, he go, tell us to looking just like his uncle, looking like him. He's a shady mofo. Oh, he's shady. Child. But the word on the curb is that they may have had some going. And I don't know if they have or not. Went put it past and don't know, don't care. Who knows? Allegedly. But then, perfect timing. It cuts over to Melody, Kimmy, and Tisha. And then Melody's just like Destiny and some girl cold. Tisha's looking like, ooh. And then Kimmy's like, well, you don't think Destiny slept with your man? Honey, Miss Melody is just like, I don't put nothing past people. I know that's right. 
okay? And especially Destiny's ass in particular. And Kimmy's looking like, oh, okay. My honey, Miss Destiny is catching her karma. Oh, yes, she is by the name of Miss Sunny. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so it cuts over to TV producer Mary's cast member's ex, okay? Child, they real messy this season. But honey, you wanted to get back on the show? Destiny, you got your chance, girl. Okay, this time the storyline is about you, okay? When it comes to you, you ain't in Melanie and Martell business. Chick, you got some damn business. Honey, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun now. You got your own business with your own relationships, Destiny, or like thereof. So, but what gets me is when Carlos was on his tour, the kickoff of his tour in Huntsville, when he gave Melody her flowers, child, when he was trying to take her melometers, allegedly, and in my opinion, but it didn't happen. But anywho, he was like, yeah, one of the cast members' producers married her ex or whatever like that. Child, why did he invite Miss Sunny and Moses on to the stage with him and Melody? That was messy. You can hear the crowd roaring like, ooh, baby. And even Melody's face was like, ooh. But anyway, so they married their newlyweds. So then it cuts over to Tisha talking to Destiny, saying, well, you guys were close. And Destiny's basically like, we were too close for this. Apparently not. See, karma's a mofo, Destiny. I'm just saying, child, you all up in Melody's business, okay? And Miss Thane came and swooped on up under and got your man. And why is Miss Sunny talking to Tisha and Kimmy? Sunny was saying that even though I was her producer talking about Destiny, she never talked to me about Moses. But Tisha says, you were pursuing a friendship. She said, I wasn't pursuing it. She didn't say that, but basically she's saying she wasn't pursuing a friendship, right? Ooh, child, talking about girl code. But then Miss Sunny says, well, do you have to ask permission to date somebody's ex? But me personally, I wouldn't want to go behind a friend or close acquaintance because I would never want some chick that's close to me or at one time close to me could say she know anything about my man like that. I'm just saying my husband or whatever. I just wouldn't do it. And it's just icky. It's, yeah, it's just some shit you shouldn't do. But to each his own, to each his own. So the scene cuts over to Melody and now everybody talking about a child honey that's the new buzz so she says well, won't that destiny's producer what you think about that shit melody said that shit ain't got shit to do with me i could care less i know that's right she said i ain't got nothing to give you girl that i let your ass or gave your ass that five six thousand dollars and you turned on me child and i was trying to help your ass when your lights and electricity and shit been cut off then you turned on her for the ops and shit and, and tried to give Melody um, your ass to kiss Dusty. She ain't got nothing for you now, child. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But honey, this is definitely going to be a buzz this season. Then it cuts over to Tisha talking to Marceau saying that's dirty what she did, so to speak. But it cuts over to Destiny and Moses having lunch, dinner, whatever. And she's like, you going to stab me in my back like this? You love bomb me and say you won't be with me and blah, blah, blah. And name your business after me. He's like, honey, the name of my business is Justice. Well, her baby name, Law, all in the same realm, bitch. It's all the same thing she's trying to say. She got a point, B. I got to give her a point. That's after what he did. But Destiny Karma's a bitch. I'm just saying. It doesn't always come back to you the way that you dished it out, but it comes back around sometimes, okay? Unless you transmute it. But that's another conversation. But hold up. Did Destiny just say that Justice was the baby's name that we're going to have? Girl, if that Sunny end up pregnant and name that baby Justice, ooh, that's some dirty shit. Honey, that's next level low. Just like when Kim Zosiak stole Candy's baby name. Remember Real Housewives of Atlanta in the earlier seasons? Candy said, if I have a boy, I'm going to name him Cash. And then Kim Zosiak turned around and named her son with Croy Cash. And she had to name her baby Ace Candy Child. You can't tell people your business, bitch. You can't do it. Ooh, child. Honey, then it cuts back over to when Carlos and Melody were in Huntsville for that live talk show, whatever like that. And Sonny's like talking about something. Destiny tried to paint this picture like I was plotting on her man. Carlos with his hand on his hip, sitting down, child, like he getting a damn tea with his damn leg crossed. He's a messy motherfucker. Child, Destiny got a storyline. Ain't that about a bitch? It ain't the one you want, though, girl. But Miss Sonny look like she time enough for Destiny. Then they got goddamn bobblehead ass Martell Thomas and we got sad dudes, sad chicks and sad chicks, sad chicks. I mean, if you don't set his ass down somewhere, but then it cuts over and it ends with Destiny talking to Miss Sonny and Sonny's like, I was never the sad chick, bitch, I'm the white. Whoop, mic drop. <sighs> For those who weren't gonna watch the season, I'm sure you're gonna watch it now. It's just so much drama. I'm only watching it because of Melody Cherie. Let's be clear. Child, that old messy, messy chaos king, child, as y'all like to call him, honey, that he is. 
anyway this can be a whole lot y'all drop that in the comments and tell me what y'all think about this trailer this suspense thriller and this fake concern that the men have about what martel doing because you know they don't care nothing about melody like that i don't know maybe they trying to protect his image from a um, guy type of deal whatever but this is sensibility speaks thanks for stopping by don't forget to like share and subscribe Bye bye